Oh yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Yeah, I, I got my uh, I got my beer set up right here, so I could actually refill the bladder and empty at exactly the same time. I guess I'm not really getting anywhere, but I'm 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 actually out here just waiting for a call from. Oh, hold on. I think that's where it, I think that's it right there. Hold on. Let's let's go check this out. Yeah. Hello. This is GP. How's the sausage looking? <laughs> Wait, are you freaking serious? Who got the last watch? Give me the name of this dirty piece of garbage scumbag. Ah, uh, all right. Well, looks like we're gonna have to settle who gets the wristwatch the old Finnish way by beating the crap out of one another. Until someone can't stand up any longer. All right, thank you for the information. You have a you have a, a sausagey day. All right, well, uh, I had planned to show you guys my brand new wristwatch, the 1995 year here. They just came out with a brand new summer wrist wristwatch for us. I just purchased it off of Sausage List, and uh, I thought I'd gotten the last one, but apparently Captain Piss Drinker, whatever his name is over there, Fish Fish Urine Lord had gotten the last one, and he's gonna be at the dance party tonight. And so we're gonna have to challenge him to a good old-fashioned Apollo Creed Rocky-style fight. Oh, that reminds me, too. Now, before you go and you think that you're gonna engage a scumbag like this, 1995, you always want to make sure to pick up your gun right over here. Actually, you know what? Don't do that. For the love of God, I'll have YouTube all over my case. <laughs> But in my summer car, feel free to take your gun with you no matter where you go. I'm, I'm gonna end up losing this friggin' thing. Just, just get in there. Oh, for the love of God. Now, on top of all this, there's something else new and exciting. As we open up our... Okay. As we, as we generate the sound effects to open up the garage, but don't actually watch it go upward. There we go, yes. As the JPEG slowly crunches itself upward, we can go into our... Janktastic garage right over here. There's a brand new item in the auto parts catalog someone had mentioned So let's see over here. I uh, got all that got all oh, that reminds me too So you may ask yourself well gray. Where's the Satsuma? You haven't driven the Satsuma in a while. There it is You haven't driven the Satsuma in a while. Oh, well, yeah, there's a reason for There it is. There's a reason for that so, I've been having- oh, so the last time, you guys had some ideas about what was going on with the oil. I actually found out what it was. I haven't driven the Satsuma in so long that, uh, the oil filter wasn't in. Yeah. So I had to put an oil filter in, but I've been doing- you have no idea. I've been doing adjustments and messing with stuff for the last three hours, and it still overheats. And I've- I've tried everything. People have given me different save files with, like, perfect Satsumas. They overheat as well. So I don't know what the problem is. I, I guess this is an issue some people are having. We'll figure it out at some point. First things first, though, we gotta get this going so that I guess I at least have the parts to put into the new Satsuma when I eventually get to the point where I can drive it. And then we have to get our wristwatch. Now, you have to remember, let's- I wanna let you kids know this, too. Because Halloween's coming up, everyone's gonna be out trick-or-treating and stuff like that. Let's say you're out trick-or-treating and all of a sudden, somehow, you get pulled into a van that looks vaguely similar to this. The very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is always try and punch out what the hell was that? What is... What the hell was that? What is this? Oh, this must be the wristwatch animation. Anyway, you punch out the friggin' windshield, all right? That's how you escape. Because we're always gonna friggin' lock the doors on you. At least that's- that's- that's what I hear. I want everyone to stay safe for Halloween, all right? The la the last thing I want is for the abductions to be on the rise. Son of a- I forgot to open the friggin' gate. More money, more problems. Just ask. Logan Paul, see this van right here? You start wandering around on Halloween night and you see this van, you tell your parents immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, thank God for this van being around. Even though the Satsuma drives like hammered crap, the van's still rocking it, baby. I love this thing. Drives smooth, it's like butter. I think I just passed where we're supposed to be. Been a while, all right? When you feel, hey! Well, uh, the brakes are still as good as I remember. People always ask, like, Gray, I got my I got my van stuck. How do I push it out? See, what you gotta do is you gotta get down to the lowest low, all right? To the point where you're basically, like, licking the finished soil over here. Then you gotta headbutt while you push. All right, this is a, patent, this is a patented method. It's been working for me for years. 
That method actually works really, really good with the crab tanker. It's okay with this, but I mean, if, if you really want to see a move on, you want to do it on the crab tanker. Oh, look at this. One of our buddies is over here. Hey. Ah! How goes it there, homie? How you doing? Still alive, are you? Let's find out. Some, it's it's uh it's like a like a crapshoot. Sometimes you can smash them with just enough force to make their heads pop like an overripe cherry, and sometimes they seem to survive like it's no big deal. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, you can hear a little bit of uh, disappointment in my voice. Got to shove this in here. Shove it in. Did that work or <laughs> I don't even know. Like, did it go inside? Is it is it supposed to? I think it is it supposed to disappear. It just kind of looks like it. I'm pretty sure it disappeared. It looks, it looks like, yeah, it's fine. It's, everything's fine. All right, well, normally, it's, this is going to be a mano a mano fight tonight, so I can't really have these guys messing around. And you know what they will. These guys are, are freaking troublemakers. So uh, just, just hang out right there. Don't worry, I'm just getting it cleaned. I'm not, it, I'm not planning on, on using it or anything. Just, yeah, just look to the side like that right there. My washing machine is broken. I only have one pair of clean underwear. Oh, I mean, I had. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that one from him. That's pretty good. I feel like the magazine flies out way further than it used to on here. Anyway, so I have a question. When we fight, when I fight the... What the hell was... What was that? What was that just now? Did you see that? Was it? Was it the gun doing that or... Did you lose some weight? Look at this guy. He's, he's practically melding into his seat. Look at that stomach right there. What happened to you? I feel like you used to be much thicker. He had, look at the scrawny legs. I don't know what, this guy's on the keto diet or something? I really don't know what he's doing, but it looks like he lost like 50 pounds. Hold on a second over here. I gotta find something out. How's your... What the hell's this? Oh, it's a bike rack. And there's a seat here. A bike rack. That must mean something. Now I kind of wonder if we're going to be getting bikes. Because there's no, actually, hold on. Because Tamo's bike is back here. Can we like hijack his bike or anything like that? I gotta throw that on the ground room. Can you get on this? Is there a drive function? Oh, man. I was hoping there would have been like a little secret drive function or something like that. Hey, status D, you lose any weight? Shut up. Now, he looks to be the same weight. I mean, plus but however much 145 round weighs. This guy definitely looks thinner. Definitely thinner. I was just kidding. You guys can still come to the dance party tonight. Here, I'll give you a ride. I'll be the DD. Now, when you're pulling a Finnish guy out of a car, what you want to do is you want to kind of go head first. It's kind of like childbirth. See? Hold on. Let me let me show you guys something. See this right here? What does that remind you of? Right there. It's like a baby zebra coming out of its mother or something. This is very similar. Okay? The only difference is, is that in Finland, it's a ball-capped man in 1995 coming out of a car. And you want to make sure that you get all the head out first. Then the shoulders. Shoulders are pretty tough, all right? That's probably the second hardest part to squeeze that. Crap. Come on, baby. Push. Push. Push for Gray. Come on. Come on out of the car. Come on. Get those arms out of there. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Oh, oh the, the devil is starting to take a hold of this young man. I think we're all right, though. We have exercised the demons within him all the way out there, my, my good sir. Now you just grab the thighs, and whoop, it's one leg, whoop, there you go, got him, perfect, he's even in the seated position for us, now you just want to, you want to grab him by the elbow, you always want to establish wrist control. Okay. Now see how his wrist is coming out of his left lung. This is totally normal. All right. So don't think don't think that you've done anything wrong if you see something like this occurring. Uh, it may not look natural. A lot of guys his age uh, actually have a uh, a third arm growing out of their left lung module over there. So uh, you know, like I said, it may look unnatural, but uh, take it from Greg. There's where the hell? Oh God, he rolled all the way over there. Whew. All right. Already delivered one guy tonight. Could probably do a second one like it's oh the car's moving. There we go. Perfect. Yep, right against the tree. Excellent. Okay, the car the car is starting to push its way through the tree. What the hell is going on? Stop. It's a tree. Okay, the tree is supposed to win this combat. What is happening? I gotta see if I can Is this thing gonna kill me at like one mile an hour? It is, isn't it? Don't worry, status D, I'll save you. Alright. Well, the car has uh now completely melted into the tree. That's camouflage right there. That's Something that the predator would be proud. You wouldn't know, but Status D actually has a uh, 
a brand new workout video coming out on VHS, of course. You know, like Body by Jake. It's kind of like that, uh, but with like some yoga mixed in. And I think there's something like the paleo diet. Maybe that's in there as well. It's a different version of that diet, though, because basically what you do is you survive on cigarettes and sausage. And you don't smoke the cigarettes. That's for plebs. You, you inject them. Whatever you do, don't inject your cigarettes, please. Thank God the dance party doesn't start until like 8 o'clock at night. Because it's, it's taking a hell of a lot of time just to get these guys out of the car and drag them all the way over there. You have to be very careful because if, like, if you stand right now, the time-space-finish continuum will shred apart and you lose your grip on this dude. I'd like to know what time it is right now. It'd be a lot easier to know if I had my freaking wristwatch. Perfect. There we go. Can I... <laughs> Isn't there like a, uh, isn't there like a Halloween decoration where it's like a leg hanging out the back of the car? This would actually be perfect if I could get this thing to close all the way with his leg hanging out. But I feel, I, I feel like if I do that, it's not going to close and they're going to go flying out. Hey, real quick, you guys got any gas money? How about now? Now it's time for everyone's favorite mini game. The gray fills up the vehicle with diesel mini game, where I take the nozzle. Bring it around to the back. Possibly don't have a long enough hose. Never mind, my hose has either grown or maybe it's I've just positioned the uh, the hole correctly. And now I walk away from the game. Why well, let it fill up the gas tank for the next three minutes? Actually, it looks like the diesel is moving way faster than normal. This is great. The pressure on our nozzle is like way higher than it used to be. How satisfying. All right, well, that was a quickie. Huh, I never would have thought I'd be done so fast. I guess, I don't know. I. Maybe times change or something like that. I'm really not sure. Let me go ahead and just jerk this like that. There we go. Go ahead and zip that up. There we go. All right. Should almost be time to go. There you go. You guys comfortable back there? Thought I'd give you something to drink. Don't want you guys dying of thirst or anything like that. What a shame that would be. I appreciate that the... Actually, I'm a little bit thirsty myself. I appreciate that the, the cases of beer don't interact in like a, a dark matter fashion to the human bodies that are laying in the back of my uh, my van because everything else usually reacts terribly to the bodies but leave it leave it to my summer car to allow the beer to basically pass through all objects like it's no big deal all right this should basically be time for us for us to head on over there and i i think it, i think it starts at like eight o'clock at night or something like that it's hard to really tell exactly what time it is by the position of the sun because i feel like this game like it changes its representation of day and night even though it never stops being summer i feel like every patch this game has the frame rate goes down too like it's really weird because the computer I'm using is really overpowered for this game. There's no reason for us to have this kind of frame rate. What the hell? Oh! He decided to hitch a ride. All right, now we got three individuals that we can bring with us to the dance party. I was gonna say, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here and he... He, <laughs> he told me... He told me off. Hey, dude, can you do me a favor? Can you get your, your freaking weenus off of my steering wheel? Because it's kind of dragging the car over to the right. If you could just kind of move your crotch... Off of the, just off of the steering wheel, brother. Come on, man. <laughs> nope, now your anus is on the steering wheel. Come on, buddy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, a little to the left and to the right. No big deal. Okay, right. All right, we made it. Uh, it doesn't look like we're, it doesn't look like it's time quite yet. I can't get the door open. Ah, come on, man. I can't get the door open. His freaking leg is through the door. Jesus, how do I? So I go out this side. Get off of my car. Get off my car! He's become one with the vehicle. I can't even yank him out. I like this guy. He's like, he looks, he's looking at the body. He's like, he did it. Hey, look at him. They're all like, police. This guy's the one. Actually, is there like an exact replica of you sitting in my car? If I punch you, will you fall? No, it has to be a vehicle. All right. The time has come. Nighttime is the right time for a fist fight. Don't worry, I'm just putting this here just to make sure we both stay honest. All right, all right, let me just crank back a couple of these real quick. He's giving me the opportunity to uh, to get a few in me over here before we start. You can see he's already begun. He's got the fish wine going. All right, here we go, boys. Fight of the century. In this corner, fish piss drinker McGee, hailing from Para Yarvi's back side of the 
frickin' dance party. And the challenger, hailing from the only clean part in New Jersey, Gray still plays. Put your freaking hands up, boyo. It's time to do this. What'd you just say to me? Boom! There it is. Bang! Uh. All right, now you gotta roll in. Boom! Roll in. There we go. Oh, we knocked his hat off. That's right, baby. The chick lord's coming. Uh. Hope you got a good dentist. Did he just go for a ball shot? He did. He's going. He's going for a low blow. I've been beating this guy for like two minutes, man. He's a freaking juggernaut. I gotta tell you, how many, how many punches to the face can the average Finnish guy take? All right, we're pushing him back. We're pushing him back. Uh, uh. Oh, we knocked his glasses off. He's starting to look pretty sorry. There we go. Yeah, let me see that head bobble. Let me see that head bobble. Uh, down he goes. And the winner, Ray still plays. Ho! Hold on. Yes! That is how you assert your dominance. Right there. All right. Well, now that we've won, yes! We've got the wristwatch. We've got the booze. We've. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to drink it. Oh, we're going to go sideways. But before we do. Working Man Saturday and Cheap and Unlock. <laughs> Before we do, there's the race. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hi, everyone. Guess who? Gray still plays. Oh, madam. You're looking very wonderful. Your be her beard is like bigger than mine. What happened? What is going on with this guy's arm? This is why you don't smoke, kids. This is what smoking does. Do you see it? His his arm is growing out of his freaking left nostril. Did you see that fight out there? Did you see it? Was good, wasn't it? You don't mess with the best. This is the absolute face of just nonchalant disregard for our combative superiority. All right. Well, since we won, to the victor goes the spoils, I guess. I don't know. We'll go ahead and we'll hang this guy. Uh, we'll hang this guy in the kitchen or something, maybe. I changed my mind. You remember how uh, when we took Drunk Man's money, he basically chased us with a fire axe forever? Well, we got this guy's wristwatch. And quite frankly, I want to have a good night's sleep for once. So... Yeah. There we go. Enjoy that. Enjoy a good night's sleep there, buddy. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of My Summer Car, where uh, we did it. We got we got the last watch right there, and it is a good-looking watch. Look at that. It even glows in the dark. That is some 1995 technology, if ever I did see it. Did you guys ever have one of these analog glow-in-the-dark watches? You have to let me know. You have to let me know in the comment section below. I did. I had a watch that looks exactly like this. It's kind of interesting that the outer perimeter is a 24-hour. <laughs> Meanwhile, the inner perimeter is a 12-hour clock. It's something cool. I don't even remember what the outer perimeter thing does. Like, wh back when I had this watch. Look at that metal band and everything. It, it really does. It looks like a carbon copy of a watch that I had from, like, 24 years ago. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay hoxy and much love. <laughs>